Welcome to the Ritz Carlton Orlando Grand Lakes. Let's go ahead and side. So entering in the lobby, the left hand side over here is Bell Desk and Concierge. And then the right hand side over there is going to be check-in. So yeah, this is just a look at the lobby. It's very small compared to other Ritzes, but then it opens up to be this big, beautiful space with this bar. So with check-in at our back, uh, we have the lobby bar here in front. As we make our way to our right, we head over to the two main restaurants here, uh, Knife and Spoon and also Highball Harvest. Knife and Spoon is a signature Michelin star restaurant. I'll come over here and show you guys the menu. You can see their Michelin star from 2023. And here's a look at the menu. So you can see, I mean, they have 90 day steaks for $200. So very expensive, very formal. And then downstairs is um, Highball and Harvest. This actually, this little like lounge area, very nice. Um, but downstairs is Highball and Harvest, which is more uh, casual. So if we go down there later, I can, I can show you guys that. But yeah, then the lobby bar and lounge is over here. Um, and then we'll make our way to the left side, which connects to the JW Marriott but I'll come and give you guys one last overview of the lobby. Working our way to the left, this is the drop. This is a coffee shop here uh, for the Ritz. So they have different espressos and smoothies and pastries and all that stuff that you find at a pastry shop. And then as we keep heading to the right, some more seating areas over here. And then straight ahead here is the elevators that will take us up to our room. So let's go ahead and check out the room and then we'll come back out and explore the rest of the hotel. So let's head over to our room. We're on the 10th floor and we're gonna make a left and head to room 1039 is our room. Here we go, comes with a doorbell, but let's head inside. Welcome to our resort view king bedroom suite here at the Ritz Carlton Orlando. So I'm gonna pan slowly over to the left to start here. Uh, over here is where your privacy and then also calling service buttons are, um, standard lock and stuff on the door. Um, there's a nice little area here to put your keys and stuff. My golf clubs are here. There's a golf course on property. Working our way here, we'll go into the bathroom. A uh, full stand-up shower here with the waterfall head. Uh, Ritz-Carlton soaps and moisturizers all provided for you. Towel hook there. Uh, separate room for the toilet. Double sink with towels, hair dryer, a uh, bunch of different soaps and stuff for you. Dental kit, shaving kit, shower kit, um, moisturizer. All that good stuff. And then there is a separate tub over here as well with more towels and complimentary robes. Working our way this way, this is where the closet is. Inside the closet, we have another robe, ironing board, uh, safe is in here as well as laundry bags. If you had to do your laundry while you were here, they would take it for you. And then working our way back into the main bedroom. We have uh, some cute little artistry here. Uh, this is a full bar. Um, water is complimentary, ice is complimentary, alcohol, snacks, and then also like a sleep well skin kit, all for purchase, as well as everything that's in this cooler here is for purchase. And then what's cool is in this little counter here, you lift this up and this is complimentary tea and espresso and water and stuff like that in here for you. There are drawers below this for storage. Nice big TV on the wall. A working station here with USBs and plugs and all that good stuff there. Uh, AC remote there. There's a balcony, I'll show you guys that in a little. Um, chair here, we also got complimentary Voss water and fruit when we checked in. And then panning our way over to the main bedside, you have USBs and plugs on both sides of the bed, which is awesome. Uh, more drawers for storage and then yeah, this room is just very nice and, and decorated. So here's like a full a full look at it um, It feels very big especially like we have the stroller in here and stuff like that But uh, now let's go take a look at our view outside 
So let's take a look at a uh, resort view king bedroom room. And walking outside to our balcony, we have two chairs here that have cushions on them. And then our view faces the main entryway of the Ritz. We are looking east, uh, east towards the coast. Um, let's see what we can see. So there's some of the golf course. The Ritz Carlton residences are there. Um, straight ahead this way, it's the airport. If you can see the tower there. I don't see any planes at the moment, but that's where the airport is. Um, cool thing is this view, if we had rocket launches this weekend, which maybe we will, uh, we'll be able to see them. Um, let's see what else. There's downtown Orlando. Downtown Orlando's over there. And then, uh, yeah, that's all. If I can see anything else throughout the day, I'll let you know. Hopefully we get a rocket launch. That would be cool. But yeah, there's a look at the room. Let's go explore the, uh, the resort a little more. So I wanted to give you guys a look at the resort map here. So dining's in gold. Uh, you can see the little like icon up here. But uh, the Ritz Carlton does have its own pool, playground, and splash pad for the kids. There's tons of ha hammocks and things around the, the lake here. Uh, the spa's in the middle. That has its own pool. It's supposed to be really, really nice. And then it connects via the ballrooms over to the JW. Uh, the JW has a lazy river and water slides um, and its own set of like dining locations that we get access to. Um, and then you have the golf course and tennis rack courses and all that other stuff around here. So this is like a really, really nice resort. With our resort fee, uh, you get internet, we get free mountain bikes, free driving ranges, uh, floats to use at the JW, access to the water slides and the water park, also shuttle transportation to all the theme parks around here, um, which is cool. So they gave us that sheet as well. Uh, so if you call the night before, you'll get a complimentary shuttle um, that'll take you to SeaWorld, Universal, Epcot, or Magic Kingdom, um, depending on you know where you're trying to go. Uh, and then it'll take you there and then pick you up at certain times. So that's uh, that's a thing you can do too. So there's a look at the resort here at the Ritz-Carlton and Grande Lakes. So coming out of the elevators, we're gonna make our way to the right to head towards the spa, the shop, and the fitness center. So like I mentioned upstairs on the map, we actually connect to the JW. So they're connected through the conference center. So to get there, we have to walk through the conference center. But before that, I figured I'd give you guys a quick look at the shop over here. They got tons of like, you know, fancy dresses and stuff and um, Ritz Carlton branded merch. So we're not gonna go do a full dive because it's kind of fancy, but uh, yeah, with the golf club and everything, they have a ton of different branded merch. So now we're gonna head this way through the conference center and then I'll let you guys know when we see something else cool. So we have now made it to the intersection between the uh, Ritz-Carlton and the JW. So this building here is the spa. So the spa is supposed to be really well known. Kayla is getting a spa treatment right now. So I will let you all know what she thinks of it when she's done. But it has its own private pool and everything there. Um, this is a little outdoor garden here. So probably for weddings and stuff like that. But now let's head into the JW. We'll go in the JW, we'll look around there, and then we'll head down to the ground level and we'll do a lap around the outside. So let's go do that. Into the JW we go. And we have made it into the JW Conference Center. This conference center is bigger than the Ritz. Um, it's a very different decorated, very lighter. Um, so yeah, but yeah, this is a look at the JW Conference Center and then we'll walk over to the lobby and stuff like that. So very similar to the Ritz, you have the kitchen restaurant here on your left. The main lobby and check-in area is going to be here in the middle with this pretty fountain. Hang on, I'll show you guys this. So it's got a fountain in the middle, uh, the restaurant on the left, check-in on the right. Over here is concierge where those desks are. And then lobby bar and lounge over here. And then downstairs is going to be another restaurant, but we're gonna take the elevators down to the pool level and we'll do a whole lap around the whole resort. So we've made it over to the JW now. So on the right, here is a cafe that they have. On the left is going to be their shop. Uh, there's a bunch of different merch in there and stuff like that. I did see Roosevelt's. Hang on, I'll show you guys the Roosevelt's. Um, Roosevelt's are like a 
popular off Disney brand. So there's the Roosevelt's and then there's a Starbucks here. So Starbucks and then this is the lobby. So now down on the pool level, uh, this is where the brassiere is. And then we'll make our way outside. It's a very pretty staircase that takes you back up to the lobby. Um, but we're gonna head outside and do a lap around. So as soon as you come outside on the left here are two water slides that the JW has. Uh, you do get access to these with your resort fees, whether you're staying at the Ritz or whether you're staying at the JW, you do get access to both. Uh, they're supposed to be open from eight to 10. Um, but I'll show you guys the view on the back side of these because they look kind of fun. So this is a look at the back slide of the slide. It looks like the green one is like a bigger tube slide that you get some little swirly swirls in there. Um, and then this is where they come out over here. On the left is going to be part of that like lake where there's some swings. Uh, there's also hammocks spread all around this resort, which is super nice and relaxing, especially at night. Straight ahead, that orangish building there, that is the golf clubhouse. There's also a bar and restaurant in there called The Pub. Um, so that's where you would go for that. On the right here, this is going to be the start of the Lazy River Pool for the JW. Uh, you can see there's chairs all spread around. Um, there's a bar in the middle there, but this is the JW Pool. This is the backside look from the back of the pool up at the JW. Uh, again, bar in the middle, chairs all spread around. If we pan over straight ahead, this is like going to be the main lake with the golf course behind it. You can see the golf course there. Uh, funny part about the Ritz golf course is you do have to get assigned a caddy when you play. Uh, so a little bit uh, more advanced than what my current handicap is. So I'm not gonna be playing the course but I'm gonna go use their facilities and stuff like that because we get free range balls and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do that a little later, um, but not gonna play the full course because I'm not good enough to be wasting a caddy's time. Um, back to the pool here, you can see some like lounges and stuff they have up there. Looks like there's a bachelorette party going on. Um, all the cabanas have TVs in them. Fantastic for a Saturday like this with college football on. And then there's another bar over here in a restaurant for the JW pool. So that's a basic look at that. If we come over to use this facility later, I will show you guys that. But for now, let's keep walking this way until we hit the Ritz. So straight back over these bushes is going to be the spa pool and the spa. And then if I pan to the left, this is one of the wedding venues again with the golf course behind it. It's just very pretty. There's a lot to do here. Um, you know, it's one of those things where this is like $500 a night. You're about 20 minutes from Disney to stay at the Ritz here. The Grand Floridian's like $1,200. You don't get nearly as much service as you would if you came here to stay at the Ritz. And honestly, if you want to spend $1,200 at the Ritz, you could probably get a two bedroom suite instead of just like a regular room at the Grand. So, you know, why not just stay here? They, like I said, they have the complimentary transportation at Disney too. So you can even take advantage of that. So this is definitely more of a deal. Um, if you're gonna do the Orlando resorts than staying on property. And I never thought I would say that in a million years. So coming back up on the Ritz now, they have kayaks and paddle boats and hammocks on the left. We're gonna make our way to the right here. You can see they have soccer nets set up that you can play soccer. They have cornhole set up, uh, large chess. There's a bocce ball court over here with cabanas that you can rent at the bocce ball court that have TVs and stuff in them for you. Um, so that's pretty awesome. I've never seen that, but the bocce ball's free cabanas would be a paid expense. So just keep that in mind. Um, we'll keep working our way back this way to cabanas, uh, to Ritz Carlton Kids. And I'll show you guys that area and then we'll head to the pool. So we have made our way over to Ritz Kids. Uh, so playground and splash pad through that way. This over here is a little outdoor area if you're actually doing the Ritz Kids programs where there's tables and stuff for them to do like a bonfire, I assume, or different crafts and activities. Over here, they have an actual falcon. Hold on, I'll show you guys a falcon. They have a falcon, you can do falconry, that's pretty cool. His name is Turbo, that's awesome. Through this store is sports rentals like mountain bikes and kayaks, ping pong, air hockey, and foosball. So that's all done under here. And then we'll make our way to this little like courtyard area. Uh, this courtyard area, right straight ahead through those doors are Highball and Harvest, which is that other restaurant I showed you initially. 
This is the courtyard area, and then it's the pool. So I'll show you guys the pool. And this is an overview of the Ritz-Carlton pool. Uh, much more chill and relaxing. This is a full service pool also. So you go, someone will sign you your towels. You'll have a full service waiter or waitress um, that'll come set you up. Free sunscreen, water, and all that good stuff. You can order food from the bar that's on the left. I'll show you guys that when we go eat there later on tonight or today. But yeah, this is the, the pool. It's got two spas and then another little spa in the back there. Um, really fun area. And then I'll just pan around. And this is a look at the Ritz building. So yeah, that concludes our walking tour of the area. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. And now uh, let's go see what we're going to want to do next. I wanted to give you guys a look of inside the pool area that we've walked by yesterday just to give you guys a better view. So right now we're going over the bridge of the Lazy River and it just all connects. So everything here connects. So it's just one big river. The water slides are up there. There's cabanas and stuff you can rent. The pool, uh, like beds that you can rent. It's a pretty nice little area. You get tubes and stuff. Here's another like reserved bed and cabana area. And I want to show you guys the cabanas compared to the cabanas at the Ritz. These cabanas though are all preset with flat screen TVs, couches, air conditioners, full service. And then you get your own little like private hot tubs. So yeah, that's cool. Here's a closer look at one of the JW band, uh, cabanas. And then you get your own little private pool in the front. So nice little area that you can rent. I don't think these were crazy expensive. And now we are back over at the Ritz pool. Uh, to give you guys an overview of what the Ritz pool is like. And if I walk over this way, there's another little area over there. And then I did want to show you guys what some of the cabanas look like over here at the Ritz. So they have this very nice like day bed with seats uh, with the TV and cooler and fans and stuff like that. And then you also get access to the tables out here. And then there's another version on the other side. It's very similar except without the bed, it's just a couch and it has like curtains for privacy and stuff. But this is a look at the, uh, the Ritz pool. Yeah. I think we like this one a little better because it's full service. So. Yeah, it's been a good time so far. And I think that's going to do it for our video here of the Ritz-Carlton at Grand Lakes, Orlando. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Uh, if you enjoyed this tour, go ahead and give this channel a subscribe and also give this video a like. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you all next time. Bye.